Night Live. Oh, Saturday Night Live, but with Shu and not with actual Saturday Night Live people. Okay, so today we are going to be doing a makeup tutorial. First and foremost, we must clean our faces. Um, okay. Best way to do that is, is with a makeup remover. And I use makeup remover wipes because they just clean so much better. Here we go. Whoop! I get one. And then you know what you should put on top of that? Uh, wait, let me see if I can find it. Hold on. i got to go find this one thing. One second. not gonna happen uh usually i would use this cleaning water like the micella cleaning water uh, but i don't have that on me right now so uh, just gonna use some makeup wipe which is just as good it works just as well okay all right here we go wiping off all of my makeup for the day hi Mmm, nice and clean. Yum. And then after that, we must moisturize. That's like the most important thing. Moisturizing our faces. Okay. So I use this serum called aspect this one you can use at day and night and it's a really nice serum it's water-based so it feels very light put that on sometimes i like to spray with rose water but i can't find that right now so we're not going to use that after that we use a moisturizer oh oh no i'm nearly out this is also aspect the brand it's an australian brand throw that on mm. it's really important to moisturize before you put on your makeup to protect your skin. Preparation of the skin is the most important thing. Hmm? I just started my life like three minutes ago. Okay, and then we have eye cream. I use La Mer, the brand La Mer. I thought she had no makeup on either. I only had a uh, foundation and eyebrows. Dee Dee, what country? I live in LA. You got me a gift? Ah, thank you. Did you send it to my PO box? Can't wait to get it. Yay. I'm going to change PO boxes to one in the Cape Town area because right now it's in Hollywood and it's so far away. Okay, so next. We must prime our faces and the primer I use is called Euphoria. Euphoria. And it's called the pre-game primer. You can also just put this on your face and go out in the day. If it's daytime, I also add sunscreen. This is Mecca Cosmetica. It's the Mecca brand. It's so good. But you can also only get this in Australia. 
But because it's night time, we just put a bit of primer. Oh, it's a new bottle, so it might take a few squeezes. <laughs> hello, hello. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh, it's brown. Look at that. It's got a little bit of shimmer in it. I did not expect it to come out in this color. Kind of looks like the color of my toothbrush. <laughs> Uh, all right, let me wipe off the water. Okay, here we go. Primer. Prime that, please. Ooh. Feels good. It smells like Chinese medicine. I wonder if it changes color on my face like the... Um... The, um... What's it called? They blush. They have a blush that changes color. Oh, wait. What would be my dream place to live? New York. Oh, hi, Keyshawn. I put your name for in Phoenix. I moved to temporary place for now. Oh, okay. Thank you. My favorite Blackpink song is obviously Kill This Love. You know what's good for your face? Aloe vera if you get burnt. Definitely aloe vera. Okay, primer is on. Next thing we need is some foundation. I use this bad boy. It's Shishido in 230 Elder. God, it's a bit out of focus. And it's called the Synchro Skin Self Refreshing Foundation. They have different, two different types in a bottle that looks like this. This is the self-refreshing foundation. Oil-free. La. Um, I tend to use this bad boy. Okay, so, oh, just FYI. So today's tutorial is going to be my everyday look. Like, oh, actually, this should be a night look. I'll give you guys a night look. This is like with my normal makeup that I always have. And then next week I'll show you some new products that I got and more exciting eyeliner stuff. Okay, so I use a little foundation brush. I'll do this one. Oh, I forgot to add water. Oops. Oh well. Too bad. Let's see if it works without water. It's your favorite animal color so I can make you something. Oh, thanks, Tabitha. My favorite animal is the panda. And uh, my favorite color is pink. My outfit looks like it would be Lisa from Blackpink. Yes. I love purple. This shade, lilac, it's so in right now. It's like my favorite shade. So if I was going out to party, this is what I would use. I'm going to tell you guys this week about my first kiss. Do you guys want to find out about my first kiss? That's the theme of the day. And after that, I want you guys to tell me about your first kiss. So my first kiss happened when I was 12. I wanted uh i'd never like kissed the guy before but i had this crush on my family friend his name was james and we were playing truth and dare this okay more context sorry i need to paint the picture for you so when i was 12 oh my god look how red my eye is i shouldn't even be putting makeup on but i'm gonna put makeup on for this video and then take a shirt off Oh shit, I think I need to go see a doctor because it's still red. God damn. Um, so I went to this family friend party. This is when we were 12. I lived in this town called Townsville. How ironic. It's a small town in Australia, northern Queensland. And... We were like a handful of Asians there. There were basically no Asians. And I was one, our family was maybe one out of like 10 families in Townsville. And all of our friends were Asian. And every weekend, literally every single weekend, without fail, 
we would gather as family friends together and hang out whether it was by the beach or whether it was at one of their houses we would always end up at the rich person's house and sing karaoke and or one of the houses we would end up at someone's house and sing karaoke oh by the way this is eyeliner uh, eyebrow time my favorite brand charlotte tilbury i use a brow lift in dark brown but i think i need a lighter color so i'm gonna go lighter next time okay so anyways um i yeah so we, we used to have these like family friend parties and after like a year of these parties i grew a crush on one of our family friends so okay there was like a bunch of kids but the kids that used to hang out together all the time because our parents used to hang out all the time was like these five six kids so it was me my sister my twin sister there's other twins called ruby and rose and then another older girl called jenny and then these two guys james james or oh, three guys james james and anthony but one of the guys we called Yo-Yo, not James. So Yo-Yo was like in one family. And then James and Anthony was in another family and they're around the same age. Yo-Yo was a bit younger. Jenny was a bit older. She was in one family. Uh, and then Ruby and Rose, the twins were in another family. So that's four families. And then it was me and my sister. So five families. And we would hang out every single weekend. And when I was 12 on this one particular weekend, we were at Jenny's house in bedroom, hanging out. She loved anime. She was actually the one that introduced me to anime. She used to love drawing anime. So I started drawing anime because of her. I was like heavily influenced by her because she was like the older, cooler girl in the group. And so she, um, she was like playing truth and dare with us and she was like oh uh truth truth or dare to me and i was like dare and she's like i dare you to kiss james k and i was like no way but on the inside i was like yes because i had a massive crush on him we liked each other but we never went out or anything because we were family friends and also we were like 12 so that was not gonna happen and it's uh, funny because now he lives in Brisbane and he's dating my sister's best friend. It's hilarious, I think. I think they recently broke up. I don't know. My sister was doing an intervention for them. But they might still be broken up. Anyways. Uh, but he's like, his family was like the most successful family in the group. Both of the dads. So both of the parents, so the mom and dad were doctors, but then him and his brother also tried to study medicine, but they both, I think his brother went into dentistry, but he ended up not doing anything. Like he was not an anybody. He didn't end up graduating right now. I don't even know if he's working. I don't know what's going on, but he's not working. Um, like, a, like an adult job. Uh, anyways, okay, next thing, what do I do next? Eyes. Let me look for my eye makeup. Anyway, so this one night, Jenny's like, kiss James. And I did. And it was the quickest thing. It was like, boom. Oh, someone's spamming. Who's spamming? Call them out. I don't have a moderator, so I don't know how to kick people out. Anyway. I kissed him and it was like the quickest peck. It was like, like that. And I was so embarrassed. I was like, ah, ew, boys. But later on, I was like, <laughs> oh my God, I love him so much. Ah. Astro Cardi. Hey, Astro Cardi, stop spamming. Please and thank you. Oh, why? Why are you spamming like that? Oh, how do I just... All right, I put him on timeout so we can't spam anymore.
Oh wait, shit. Sorry. I freaking sorry. Panda Pug, your comment came out straight afterwards. I accidentally put you in timeout as well. <laughs> sorry. Oh no. Physical abuse. Don't stand for that. Um Okay, what's next? Eyes. I personally love Charlotte Tilbury. Everything I have is Charlotte Tilbury. Here is another Charlotte Tilbury. So with uh, eye makeup, it's always important. This is the Charlotte Tilbury way. way. Every one is a little bit different, but you know, I, cause I use a lot of Charlotte Tilbury makeup. I use, I do Charlotte Tilbury. So you do like a base and then a color on top and then a more accentuated color on top of that um so anyways yes going back to my story so this guy james is his name my first ever kiss we never admitted to each other that we liked each other but he was like this like really nerdy kind of kid uh he didn't really like show emotion even if he liked me he never showed it so we never did anything about it because there was no actual doing of things you know oh eyeliner green oh i do have wait i do have green you want me to try the green this is not what i usually use but i can do it i'm gonna do this okay so what in the palettes you usually go this to this, like you go up to down. They have them all like named out. So they all match. This one matches, this one matches, this one matches. So you base and next color and then the next color on top of that. And I do not know how uh, it's ever going to work. Have I ever had an allergic reaction? Yes, I'm pretty sure my sty or my eye is from the allergic reaction that I had. I think I must have used like dirty makeup or i think the eyelash that i had the um permanent eyelashes i was using might have been dirty but they also ruined my eye i think i should have gotten them taken out sooner but i didn't okay so i'm gonna use green so the next step always is like okay so this top color should be the color on the base. Oh my god, this is going to look so epic. It's going to look a bit dark. I don't know. I've never tried this. Here we go. Green. Green eyeshadow. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's happening. Anyway, so this guy who is kind of like turned out to be not what I expected him to be because I thought he was going to be a super successful doctor because his parents are both doctors. He ended up just not even graduating from medical school. I don't even think he graduated from anything. And it's so funny, like people that you think are going to be super successful end up being the opposite. And then people you think are like super nerdy and they're not going to be successful end up being super successful. So you can't judge a book by its cover, which is why I say right now, if you're getting bullied or if you're not like having a great time at school or you think nobody likes you, just remember life is long and you have time to reinvent yourself. And you're not going to be what everyone thinks you're going to be. or And you're not going to be who you are right now. There's always time for change and shift comes and goes and if you're like super popular right now just stay humble because you never know when your fate is going to change you know okay i don't know if this is working but that is super dark Ooh. okay next one <laughs> where's my pen oh here it is okay so next you use like a smaller um paint the like brush just to show you inspire me to be better to my idiot's boyfriend oh good you should never 
ever let a guy treat you badly. How to use eyeliner? Okay, we'll get to the eyeliner part. I have a huge round of life for two weeks under my Oh no! Did you put cream and eye drops? How did you used to do your makeup? Um, I usually do this kind of style, but with a lighter color. Uh, but this palette is telling me blue is the next logical color on the palette. So here we go. So uh, with the next darker shade, you want to put that just cl close to like the eye line of your eye, like around here. I don't know if this is a great representation of what I normally look like. I don't know how good it's going. Sometimes I also just use my finger and it can look a bit darker if you use your finger because then the color doesn't go into the brush. That looks better. See, that works. And you just use the brush to kind of blend it. Always be blending your eye shadow, my friends. Always. Okay. Blend, blend, blend. All right, it's pretty dark. Next eye. Blue. This blue is really pretty. Oh, I really like it. Mmm. Pretty indeed. You want a boyfriend? I I want a boyfriend if he's good. If he's a good guy, I want a boyfriend. Otherwise, I'm not gonna waste my time. Thank you for liking my clays. Happy birthday, Em! Alright. That's blended enough. Okay, here we go. What else do you want me to tell you a story about? Do you guys want to know anything else about my life? Keep saying I'm fat, it's my birthday. Oh, Riley, don't, don't let the haters hate you. Ignore them. Tips for makeup beginners. Uh, start light. Don't use heavy makeup for beginners. All right, and we always do the under eye. Done. Just in the corner. I don't know if I want to do it this side because my eye is sort of still really sore. So I'm just going to put a little bit and get rid of this part in the middle. Okay. Next eyeliner. Right. This is how I do my eyeliner, and I think this is one of the easiest ways to start. So the eyeliner, I have a black color here and a thin brush. I'm going to run it under some cold water. The most embarrassing moment of my life. Okay, I'll tell you about that. Uh, so this eyeliner, while it's wet, you actually can dip it in the eyeliner. And you can turn it into a gel eyeliner. And what I do is I draw the bottom line first, the bottom line for the wing, and then I connect it onto my eye line. So we do line up, depending on how much you want as a wing. And then I just draw it down towards my eye line. And I find this technique to be the easiest in drawing a line that looks like it blends into your makeup. It doesn't stand out too much. So it's not like an eyeliner effect. It's kind of a light black. Know what I mean? And then I do the same for the other side. And as I go towards the middle of the eye, I do a thinner line. It gets like uh, gradually thinner and thinner. 
And that's how I do my eyeliner. Okay, next thing we've got to do mascara. That's important. So, where's my mascara? Charlotte Tilbury again. I use push up lashes. All right, going back to story time. So my most embarrassing story was when I was in grade six, I want to say. Oh, thank you, Dieta Andrew. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, you gave me money, but you make really <laughs> weird comments. I don't think you really like me. I don't think you really like my content. Oh, I was like, wait, did I put foundation on? I did, but I used my foundation blotter instead of my brush and it looks so much more natural. This is much better. Okay, so my first oh, embarrassing story. Oh, I was in grade six and I was on the monkey bars and I was going across the monkey bars and we were playing like you know those like ninja warrior kind of games on the monkey bars and we were like stacking our legs on top of the other person trying to pull them off the monkey bars so someone put their legs over my waist and they tried to pull me off the monkey bars but instead of pulling me off the monkey bars they pulled off my skirt and i was hanging there just in my shirt and my undies it was so embarrassing Yeah, that's what happened to me. My eyelashes are really small right now because all of the long ones fell off. They fell off from my permanent eyelash. Well, yeah, from me putting on lash extensions. The other thing I usually do is put fake lashes on. And the brand I use, I'm not going to do it now because of my sty, but the brand I use is called, oh, why is it not here? Oh, I don't know where my eyelashes are. Um, they're called Wispies, the Ardell Wispies, FYI. What else do you guys wanna know? Okay, next we've got Okay, I always use one of these kind of brushes. And the brand I use is called ColourPop. And this was like part of the Mulan special. ColourPop, um, and the color is 20B4. Matchmaker. See, I'm I'm like nearly finished using it because I use it so much. It's so good. It's like my favorite color. When I first got it, I was like, mm, that color's not going to work because usually I like use these kind of pink colors, but this on Asian skin looks really good. It's just like a darker pink and it makes your skin look like you just have a bit of blush and it's very natural. It just looks like you ran up a hill but it doesn't look like unnatural. So usually how you like find the place to put your blush is like do this, smile, and just like dot the cheeks. It's for the cheeks, the pink. Do this. Your funniest moment. Ooh. Oh, that's a good one. Okay. I'm gonna think about that. Maybe, Okay, the memory that comes to mind is when I was 10. <laughs> All of these memories happened when I was very young for some reason. But when I was 10, I used to just like run around the house naked, which is super inappropriate at 10 because like your bits are already grown up. It's not cute to be running around naked anymore. But I used to run around the house naked because I used to think that would bring me closer to my family and my parents because I thought I was still a kid. 
and I I used to also like scaring my parents, especially my dad. I thought it was hilarious. So I wait, someone's spamming. Renu was spamming. Oh no, how do I get rid of that person? Okay, I'll wait to see. Um Okay, so one day I knew my dad. So in our old house, there's like a hallway that leads his bedroom to our kitchen. And he has to pass everyone's bedrooms to get to the kitchen. And the very last room is the bathroom. So I hid in the bathroom waiting for him to come down the hallway. And he was coming down, coming down. And when he got to the bathroom, I jumped out and I scared him. I was like, Rah! and I was butt naked because I was 10 and I thought I was hilarious. I was like, Rah! And I scared the bejesus out of him. But that was the last time I ever did that because he got not super mad, but he scolded me. And he was like, one, you shouldn't be walking around the house naked anymore because you're you know, a bit older, it's inappropriate. And I was like, oh, okay. Two, I'm older now. Like, this is my dad, I'm pretending to be my dad. I'm like, I'm older now, so if you scare me, I might get a heart attack and I might die. And I was like, ah, I don't want my dad to die. And I felt so, so bad about it. And I was like, oh my God, I nearly killed my dad. But he was cool, he was nice. And that was the last time I ever scared my dad. Sad days. That was when the glory of my youth left me. Okay. For, okay, the next thing we want to do is put some uh, highlighter and some bronzer for the cheeks, some highlight and contour. I don't actually have contouring cream, which is the only thing that's missing from my beautiful kit of makeup. So I am just going to use the powder contouring kit. It just looks a little bit more natural. And always tap off your uh, extra powder from your brushes before you put it on your face, otherwise it's too dark. Uh, you want me to do collabs with Jeannie Weenie? Yes, when she's back in the country, we'll do some collabs. Okay, so what you want to do is do this. And kind of run your uh, bronzer up your cheek this way and then blend it in and you want to put some maybe on your chin as well for some definition just blend in like that same on the other side from definition And then here on the forehead, on either side of the forehead, for some definition. And then on the nose, on either side of the nose, have you watched Stranger Things? Yes. Have you been to Coachella? Yes. Usually I use a thinner brush for here, but I don't know where I put it. It's in my other bag. So you can use like a thin one like this and just draw a line, a thin line on the side of your nose, just to make your nose look a little bit thinner, adding that definition. On your chin as well. Great. And then the last thing we do is highlight. This one is highlight. It's just part of the Charlotte Tilbury travel pack. It's called the Instant Look 
in a palette. Stoned Rose Beauty. Five minute face on the go. Yeah, this is great when I'm traveling. I take this everywhere with, with me when I'm traveling because it's got everything in a small little case. And where you want to put this is here. Oh no, die to Andrew's being rude. Oh, I guess I gotta get rid of him. Die to Andrew, can you not be rude please? Only be in this chat if you're willing to be nice to other people in this chat and also be productive. You don't have to be here if you don't want to be. We're just having a chill night. It's a Saturday night, just telling some fun stories and doing a little makeup tutorial. So let's not ruin it for the rest of us, okay? Oh, hello, Nathan. All right, so you want to put your highlighter on the very top of your cheek like this. Boop, 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 boop. Just on the top here. Sort of like next to your eye, just above your cheek. Just like the highlight. Because you want it's highlight because you want to put in the high areas. And then down your nose. Swipe it all the way down to your chin. Even onto your lips like this. All the way down. That way it catches the top of your lip as well and it makes your lips look really nice. All the way down. Of course, a little bit on your forehead, just the top of your whole forehead like that. Makes it look nice, shiny, nice and shiny. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, got it. And then the last step, lips. And if you've got a little bit of eye bags like me, you can also put some concealer. So I use this Magic Away Lip Quid Concealer by Charlotte Tilbury. And just do that at the bottom, anywhere you want on your eye. Sometimes I do it on the corners if I'm feeling it's a bit red. Okay. This is probably not the best concealer I've used only because the container is not very good. Like it doesn't, you know, stay clean. Um, and then I use a brush to put that in. Where's my brush? Oh, so comfy. Okay. If you don't have a brush, you can always use your finger like this. Oh no, it's back. Okay. Let's try. Okay. All right. What time is it? It's currently 8.15 where I'm at. Okay, Strawberry Berry. I was, t okay. I was 12 when I learned how to cook. No, I was 10. Oh my God. So many great things. I had my first birthday party when I was 10. Oh, what a p the power of you. Let me tell you about the first meal I ever cooked. I was 10 years old. And my parents were teaching me how to make tomato and egg stir fry. That is my first meal ever. So tomato and egg stir fry. Um, oh, I don't want it to touch my eye. Uh, tomato and egg stir fry is a very simple traditional dish. It's also Jay Chow's favorite dish. And it's like a very traditional home style meal that's very easy to cook at home and every grandparent knows how to cook it. My grandma is the best at making tomato and egg stir fry. And my parents had taught me before they left like to work every day. Um, they taught me this meal. So what you do is you put oil and then you scramble the eggs. You take them out. Oh, I'm Brisbane, Emmy. Well, I'm from Brisbane. And then you stir fry the tomato. You add salt, you add sugar, you add a little bit of onion. 
and then you add the egg in and you can add some tomato sauce as well and you mix it up and that's the dish now we're doing lips we always want to moisturize the lips do, do, do. that's very important sometimes i do a lip scrub as well before i put on the lipstick to get rid of any dry dead skin but li my lips are looking pretty good today so we just go with the um purple cream first purple cream is really great i would love to start my own purple cream line i love purple cream so much okay next thing is i like to mix lipsticks a lot so i usually add a base color and then i add a different color on top so my base color is always uh something from charlotte tilbury this one's called very victoria named after victoria beckham when did i start doing makeup not till i was like 20 20 so base color it's like very tan very natural and then i add another color on top so the first time i cooked this meal by myself this tomato and egg stir fry i was uh, at home and i wanted to cook a meal before my parents came home except i couldn't find the oil and i had watched them cook i just couldn't find the oil anywhere and they weren't calling me back and getting back to me in time so i ended up just using water <laughs> instead of oil so i put water and i put the egg in the water and i so fried it took it out and put more water and then i added tomato and it still tasted great and my parents were really proud of me and th that was the first meal i cooked for my family i was 10 years old and i remember cracking the eggs by myself when i was like seven my mom used to always i learned to be very independent because of my mom uh my mom made us do everything ourselves we had to walk to school by ourselves we had to cook by ourselves make our own lunch like everything we did on our own and so naturally we had to um crack eggs on our own for the first time always for when i was like seven and i remember at school uh, for like home egg one time when I was 10 uh, we had to crack an egg in class and my parent my teacher was like have you cracked an egg before look how good the color is by mixing the two this is the color that it that it would have looked like on my skin I'm just gonna compare I'm gonna do this this is the color that would have appeared on my lips but because i mix it with another color it's like a light lighter version and it's almost pink it's like a dark pink but it looks a lot more natural love it and yeah so my teacher asked me if i would ever cracked an egg before and i was like yeah i do it at home all the time and she did not believe me she was like really can you crack an egg and i was like yeah she's like show me and i cracked it and she was like whoa she was super surprised and very impressed and I was like, that's right. That's right, bitches. This is how we roll. And that is my makeup. Complete makeup look. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. There's usually not much else I do. I mean, I could add... The one last thing I would do is a finishing spray like this. All over my face. And then that would be done. Oh my god, I don't know why I did that. Unnecessary, because I'm going to take it off in like a second. Oh my god, it got in my eye. No! It got in my eye. Oh boy. My eye! Don't want that. Don't want it. Um. Oh my god, sorry. What the hell? Oh, there's something on my eye now. Oh, great. I've got a freaking bulb on my eye. Oh. 
too much is happening. I need to wash off this makeup immediately after this chat. I'll wash off my makeup. And uh, what else? That's about it. That's my, that was, that's my cooking story. My first ever cooking story. Look at the sunset. Isn't that pretty? Ah, bye bye sun. Gabby, have I watched Stranger Things? Yes, I have and I love it. I watched it today. What's my biggest regret? Ooh, that's a really good question. My biggest regret. I think it's probably breaking up with one of my first boyfriends because I really loved him, but my parents forced me to break up with him. That's why I say don't always listen to your parents because I was like head over heels about him and I was like, I had never met anyone more suited for me ever. I feel like he was my soulmate. I had never like had that much click with someone before. I had never been that like on the same page with someone before. And my parents forced me to break up with him. And that's my part of my biggest regret. Because if I didn't, I would have probably like married him and had his babies. And now I'm like bloody single and ready to mingle. <laughs> no, I'm, not, I'm not even ready to mingle, but I am single as a bat because of that. And now my parents are like pushing me to get married and have a family. And I was like, yo, if you didn't make me break up with that guy, I would be married with a kid by now. So that was my biggest regret is sometimes you can trust your gut and don't, and your parents will always have your best interests at heart, but they may not know because they're not you and they don't know the situation. They don't know what you're going through and how you feel and you know everything that is going on in the relationship. So if you find someone that you love, that loves you and you guys get along like a house on fire and you really feel like they're the one or they're like your soulmate and you just get along so well and you support each other and they treat you well and treat you like a princess and you love them a lot like don't look further don't think that there is greener grass on the other side because chances are there's not I would say the earlier you find your soulmate, when you find your soulmate, just stick with them. Just commit to them. Because you're going to have a lovely life together and you can build a beautiful life together. And people down the track will be jealous of you for having stuck it through all the way. And you'll live a, a, like a happier life. As in you, will, you will have met your soulmate and you would have been able to grow together. Because people change, it's true. But if you can go together, then that's definitely the most in, enjoyable experience you can have. And you won't regret it. <sighs> My favorite animal is a panda. My favorite country, probably America. I do think that there is a lot of opportunity here in America. All right. If you have a question, just type it once. Try not to spam the comments too much because I will see it if it's a question. But I love that you love me. Thank you for the hearts. My favorite, what's my favorite color? You guys should know what my favorite color is by now. Did you have a crush when you were young? Yes, I definitely had a crush when I was young. Uh, but I had a lot of crushes when I was young. I had a lot of celebrity crushes. And my, okay, let me tell you about my first ever crush. This is when I was six years old. Like people should not be crushing at six. They shouldn't even know what a crush is at six, but 
when I was in kindergarten, I had this huge crush on a guy in my class. I still remember his name. His name is Kane. Kane? Yeah. And he was this cute white Australian boy in this town called um, Armadale. Tiny little town in New South Wales. And he he was just like super cute and I remember having to like hold his hand when we walked down from one classroom to another you know the teachers would make you like hold hands so I was like holding his hand walking down the bloody street and uh, I just remember like fully being in love with him and I think he liked me too but obviously nothing happened because we were six years old and then I moved to Brisbane the year after that but that was um, my crush experience for the first time um, yeah that's the story about that my favorite shade of pink is baby pink Today I went to a shop called Kitsune, Maison Kitsune. It's a French Japanese brand and it's like the house of foxes is the translation of that brand. Uh, it's a very boutique brand. Uh, not a lot of people know it, but if you know it, it's like, you're cool. And uh, it's mostly catered to guys. They have a lot of guy clothes, unisex clothes. But in the New York store, they have a huge variety of female clothes. Um, and that's the that's where I bought a lot of my clothes from. From kids, you know. But today they had a sale, and I went in to the shop. The one shop in LA, they only have one shop in LA in Silver Lake, which was unexpected. And uh, I saw it today, I was like, oh my God, I have to go into the store. And they happened to have a sale and there was a pink jumper, baby pink, pale pink jumper. It's my favorite shade of pink. And I was like, oh, obviously I have to get this. So I got it and um, I'm very happy with life. I'll wear it next week on my lives. Although there's a lot of things in my house that's pink. Like this blanket. <laughs> my chairs are pink as well. Show you my chairs. See? My chairs are pink. Ooh. Um. Okay, let me tell you about my best friend. So there are two... Oh, actually... My best friend really is my sister, Tian. She is like my, uh, I guess, companion in life. Like I would be nowhere without her. She's my most favorite person ever. She's the biggest and the sweetest person. She's super supportive and really thoughtful. Like she always tells me, she, like, she really cares about me. She's always like, um, thinking about me and my career and she's always worried about me if like I got a sty on my eye and in the, in the middle of the night she called my mom to ask her for advice on what I should do it's actually not getting better I think I have to put something on it later I gotta rest I gotta stop looking at the screen the doctor said I should only look at the screen like four to five hours a day which is bad because I have so much work to do uh. I don't know what to do. I think I have to just buckle up. Once I finish this live in six minutes, I'm gonna post my videos and then I'm just gonna maybe read since I'm not allowed to look at the screen. I'm gonna clean off this makeup and read. Do you live in Seoul? No, but I have lived. So let me tell you about the time I went on exchange, friends. So uh, my degree, I studied a double degree. I studied hotel management and international business. And part of that degree means you got to go on exchange. 
and you have to do like something like at least two years um, or like three quarters of your schooling in the home country so I was in Australia and then you could do the rest of the schooling like one and a half years you could do overseas and so in my third year so four years in total in my third year I went and studied in Canada I met this amazing guy called Ryan there and he was like truly my first love and that didn't work out and I was really bummed about that for a long time I like ummed and awed about that for like years after going oh my god did I make the wrong choice should I, should I try to get him back and anyway that was crazy long time ago but very like I, I ha don't have a lot of relationships but I definitely keep them all in my memory like they all mean a lot to me because how, of how little relationships I have and because I, I think I am a relationship person and I have like such a deep connection when I'm in a relationship that it's like really hard for me to forget that person um because I invest so much anyways so uh what was I gonna say my story Can oh so right so I did one year in Toronto, Canada at the Shulik School of Business. And then when I got back from Canada, I was like, ah, oh, I really want to go overseas again. I'm, I've been hit by the travel bug. I was so homesick. I was overseas for one year, but in the first six months, I was so homesick. I had, this was my first time traveling overseas by myself that I could not cope. I was like crying on the plane the whole time, like just, bawling my eyes out and in the first six months I didn't even do any activities outside of the house I was like oh I'm so sad I need to like go and like you know freaking just be in the house watching k-dramas and emailing my sister and writing letters to my sister and and like calling my family it was so sad but in the last six months, I met locals and I, then I had a ball. I had the best time after that. I was like, okay, this is how I'm meant to be enjoying life. And after that, I was fine. And I wish I had learned that sooner. But the time I went to Korea was when I got hit by the bug. I applied for exchange again. And so I went to Korea for three months, South Korea. I went to the um, Korea University and I went and studied um, international business. That was really fun. I wore heels every single freaking day for three months because Koreans are so beautiful and they all care about their dress. Oh no, is Dieter Andrew being rude again? Don't do that. No one will be able to handle your DJ for Oh, Dieter Andrew, you know what? No one could handle you either. So you're gonna just have to go. We don't like that. We don't like people who are haters. Um, what else? Oh, South Korea is amazing. I have so much to say about South Korea. I mean, it's probably changed a lot. But has anybody here been to South Korea? Oh my god, this tea is so good. I'm drinking chamomile tea. Mm. Yummy. I was born in Townsville, then moved to Brisbane. <gasps> really, Emmy? I was just in Australia in March filming a movie in Townsville and in Sydney. Uh, I remember when I was in university, no matter where I went, I wore heels because I just thought it was the classiest, classiest thing and I like to look really pretty and classy and now all I wear are um, sneakers.
because I realized it was so painful. And back in the day when I was younger, I didn't care that my feet hurt. I was like, I just want to look pretty. And now I'm just like, nah, comfort all the way. Sneakers, thank God sneakers are cool again. Because I can wear them anywhere and, and still feel cool and pretty. And I don't have to like try to look cute. I'm on the 15th floor. My dream job is what I'm doing. I'm doing my dream job, guys. <laughs> oh, cool. That's a cool place to be born. I've never been. Okay, guys, it's been an hour. Story time is over. Dream destination. I really want to go to Iceland and, um, and Antarctica. Both really cool places, but so different from my everyday life. Oh, if I could have a power, it would be turning back time. All right, my loves, please have an amazing Saturday night or Sunday morning, wherever you are in the world. I will see you tomorrow night. Uh, tomorrow, we're going to be doing something, something. Oh, maybe I'll show you guys my out, out, outside. We'll go for a swim tomorrow night. That would be cool. Okay. I hope you guys have a great night. I love you guys. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Talk soon. Mwah, 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 mwah. Be safe. Be good. Be nice to each other.